He has good expectations of this game. So they made me play Pokemon. Nah. I'm not happy. Anyway, I'm Paul. I'm Dave. I'm Justin. I, I had to play Pokemon. He's complaining about it. Nah. Oh. To be more specific, the newest Pokemon of Pokemon Ultra Sun. Which one did I buy? I don't you even bought remember. Ultra Sun, I think. Here you go. We'll find out. Ultra Sun it is. Oh, yeah, because it had the wolf-looking dude on the cover. That's why. Yes. So that was my motivation. Or something. Yeah, pretty much. <coughs> That's how I decided what version to buy. Because yes. it looked cooler. All in, right. In comparison to the giant-winged, under bat? Yes. He likes the bat the lion. looks dumb. Yeah. He doesn't like bats. The bat looked dumb. Plus, in a fight, a lion beats a bat every time. See, that's his logic. <laughs> yeah. That's how I do football pools. Yeah. No, no, just, what, would, a pa- would a patriot or a bear win in a fight? A bear! A motherfucking bear is going to win every time. Anyway, uh, <laughs> not talking... <laughs> I think I broke Justin's <laughs> brain. You wouldn't even get that far. Like, you, It would take like probably, I don't know, 50, 60 hours to get that far in the game to get that anyway, but let's... Move on. I don't care. I'm like four and a half hours into the game. Hmm. Anyway, so because you all played an hour of WWE 2K18, yes, you were lucky enough to play that great game. Yes, if you say so. I had to play and well purchase and play the new Pokemon game. Yes, I haven't played a Pokemon game. Anybody who has listened to our episode on Pokemon knows I haven't played since Gen One. Yeah. And I barely remember any of it, because, mm. well, is It's near 20 years ago. Yeah. Mm, That's pretty much. <laughs> anyway, so, things I liked about this game. There's an actual story in it. Yes. Uh, yeah. Unlike Gen 1. Gen 2 didn't really have much of a story either. But they didn't start having, like, storylines until, like, Gen 3. And even then, you had to actually play somewhat through the game. Honestly, with Sun and Moon before this, it was one of the first ones that kind of hit you with, oh, hey, all this shit is happening before your adventure starts. Yeah. Something I didn't like about the game. The goddamn tutorial. You're still in the tutorial. I don't... No, but, like, okay, the beginning hour of this game is, like, mind-numbingly frustrating. Oh, most assuring. Well, yeah, it kind of throws you in, tries to get you immersed with the setting, rather than... No, it assumes that you have brain damage. Hmm. It's a press this button to throw a Pokeball. You also have to somewhat remember the specific audience this is being shown to. I like thirty year olds, right? (laughs) (laughs) That's that's probably you know what the typical joke, but I want to do a poll of Pokemon fans and find out the average age because I don't think it's kids. Honestly, with most of the polls I've actually seen in this sort of case, it's around twenty two to twenty seven ish. Yeah. Yeah, if people who are in college or out in the world or something, I don't really know. Big. Yeah. You you don't need this fucking tutorial. <laughs> Not really. It or if you're like I understand having a tutorial. That's great. Give me the option to just be like, "Nope, I've played a game before. Move past it." Other games don't force you to go through their crappy tutorials and spend an hour learning how to throw a Pokéball and how to tell your little Pokemon do to bite someone. Nah. I'm still mad that I can't throw my Pokemon when I'm walking around and tell it to kill people, but... I don't think that's you going to happen within this specific series there, Paul. people with Pokemon. I want Grand Theft Auto Pokemon. I mean, you haven't gotten to the ride Pokemon yet, which comes up, like, right when you finish the first island, you get your first ride Pokemon. But why? Okay, I have a question. Which would okay? Be? What's the question? <laughs> it's probably gonna piss Justin off, but that's maybe. Fine. Mm-hmm. So if I'm carrying my little Pokeballs around with me, sure, yeah. and I see somebody who ain't got none, yeah. 
Why can't I whip out one of my? Why pokemon? can't you lock eyes with them and mug them for their yes! money? Yes, <laughs> I want to bring out one of my like uh, I don't know what any of them are named anymore. Yeah, pull out one of them. And be like, give me your money. Pull bitch. out your grubbin. <laughs> yes, grubbin is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it's the greatest name ever. I want to pull my grubbin out. That sounds dirty. <laughs> um. <laughs> and be like, give me all your money. Why can't I do that? Most likely the specific game mechanics and all the other particular stuff within the game series. I want to be a terrorist in these games. No. You essentially want to be part of the evil team. You, you want yes! To, you want to join the Team Skull and go mug people for their Pokemon. Yes! Why, why isn't there a game that I can do that? Eh, supposedly I'm concerned that they don't want to give that sort of idea to kids. They're because... average, the average age of the players in their 20s. Yes, but they but play still. this instead of GTA or something, or to <laughs> balance things. I don't know. <laughs> but must... but I want Grand Theft Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> you ask quite too much. <laughs> so, one particular thing that I remember hearing you mention while before this discussion was your concern with a couple of things that have been added in. So, my question to you is... What do you think of the couple additional things that were added into the game that you're experiencing? The one example we'll use is when fighting something that you fought before, it shows what's super effective or not effective against it. Okay. So I understand why it's there. Because they're assuming that everybody who plays this game has brain damage. Either that or as a bit more of a convenience of life. So you don't have to either memorize it off by heart, which honestly any sort of true fan already knows, or anyone who's not quite sure or still getting into the series is sort of like, oh, I can somewhat have a little bit of an easier time with this. Yeah. So I understand why it's there. I just think it's kind of dumb. Like, I think I would like it better if you could turn it on and off. Hmm. Like, if you want that, it, like, not even really advantage, but if you want that extra info, we'll give it to you. But if you want to turn it off and just have to play off of your memory and your, your instincts, hmm. we can do that too. Another interesting thing that I'm not sure if you tried, on the battle screen you actually see your characters in the middle of the screen. Tapping them shows off stats or effects that's on them. No, I didn't know that. So that's an additional thing to show you a bit more information. But you have to actually physically look into it to actually get that info. Okay. So one of my problems is whenever you go into a battle, yeah. your little dumbass trainer yeah. pulls out his ball and... Oh, that sounds bad too. Anyway, he pulls out his Pokeball. That sounds marginally better. Yeah. And he whips that some bitch out there. Yes. And then it lands three feet in front of him. Yeah. Does this kid have, like, the world's worst arm or, like... No, pretty much everyone throws out their ball like that. Yeah, but, like, he whips it like he's throwing it 50 yards. Nah, I And then it falls three feet, and it's like, that was anticlimactic. Nah, I guess the concern of the actual specific placement that everything needs to be within the battle. It looks dumb. It makes the Whale Lords look very small in, per in scale, <sighs> which they should be a lot larger. I know you don't know what a whale lord is, but it's basically a giant whale Pokemon that should just be huge, and in Sun and Moon, they look so tiny. <laughs> Scaling is a bit of an issue with yes, certain it is. types of creatures. <laughs> okay. I, I have one other question I want to bring up about Pokemon. Okay. And you might think this is dumb, but okay. it's been bothering me. Which would okay. be? So I know they're called Pokeballs. Yes. And they're meant to catch Pokemon. Yes. Yeah, what's the problem? But, if I was an evil genius, could I use one to kidnap a dude? <sighs> the possibility oh. is supposedly there. Do like, not expect that within the game. Like, if, if, if Homeboy is sleeping, and I just go... Whoop, I'm pretty tee. sure... I'm pretty sure this concept has been actually done on, like, random videos. <laughs> and specific just... theories about the moral horribleness of those sorts of particular things. Yeah. One other particular question I wanted to ask you, this is probably a bit faded from your memory, but 
Do you remember the idea around hidden machines in older Pokemon games? Ones where you teach Pokemon um, moves like cut, to cut bushes, or... Yeah, there was two. There was the TM and the HM, and one you only got to use once, and the other you got to keep for how, forever. Yeah, and yes. HMs basically affect things that are on the actual map itself while you're adventuring. Hmm. Vaguely, so... <coughs> <coughs> What's your sort of memory of those sorts of things from older Pokemon games? I remember surf and cut and fly. Okay, and yeah. Fly being amazing because it didn't mean you have to walk everywhere, which mm. is the thing that I hated in this. Is um, having to walk everywhere and not having a bike. Mm, yeah. I wanted to do drive bys on my bike, but they didn't give me a gun <laughs> or a bike. No, you'll get to do drive bys on something else entirely. <gasps> do I get a car? No. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> you'll just have to wait and see for that moment. Motorbike? You'll have to wait oh. and see for that moment. Can I ride a Pokemon and throw a Pokeball at someone and then, like, try to use that Pokemon to murder them? You can wait and see. Um, you'll see how it happens anyways. There's I'm not sure. enough murder in these games. Well, no oh shit. <laughs> I think if you wanted something relatively close to that, you'd honestly probably be better with getting Sun and Moon. <coughs> well, he... Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Although I guess with this one, with the couple things I've heard about it, it might get close, but nah. I'm trying to think of when, like, an actual human person NPC dies in the game. Technically, there's only one, and technically it's not proven. I mean, there are ghost people in the series. Oh, let's not get into the metaphysics of Pokemon, because it's fucked up. Sure. Well, it's kind of the concept of what the thing is, what the Pokemon says about it, and what is actually shown about it. Oh, I mean like reading the Pokedex. Yes. Yeah, Pokedex entries is a place to go when you want to actually, I don't know, find out what Pokemon do. Like, ghost Pokemon in particular, they like to um, devour things. Or murder things, or they were actually people at some particular point in their lives. Yeah. Which, oh, which is really fucked up, but moving past that. Because if they were people at one point, that means you're, you're, you're human trafficking and shit, and that ain't cool. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? No, no, you're not wrong in those sorts of senses. <laughs> So, on the whole, with everything that you've experienced playing through the game and whatnot, are there particular things that you're enjoying about it? Uh, I enjoy some of the designs. With the creatures that you've encountered. <laughs> so, yeah, some of them, I think you caught a, uh, ugh, sorry, Makayama, the stupid, um, <laughs> the fat, fat dude, uh, the fat <laughs> fighting Pokemon. He makes me happy. I'm sure he does. <laughs> I also I also caught the um, Grubbin, which, cause, just because of the name. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie, that was the entire reason. I was like, I will have Grubbin. It'll be interesting to see what happens when evolution takes place with certain creatures. Mm. Mm. Well, yeah, you have Litten as your starter, which you've already evolved to Toracat. Yeah, and I picked it simply because A, it was a fire type, and... And B, it was a cat. Kidding! Yes. And my other choices were an owl or something else. Oh, uh, seal. Oh, yeah. Well, nobody picks a seal. Did first time in sun. <sighs> Water type. Such a... Hey, don't, don't go dissing Squirtle in Gen 1. <coughs> you always pick Charmander. Uh-huh. Always. Uh-huh. <laughs> that might say something about me. <laughs> Did <laughs> Anyway... So, Dave, you have... I have the, the same, same game as yeah. well. I only have um, Moon. I don't have uh, the most recent version of the game. Oh, well, still Sun and Moon. Mm. So, in my case, with actually playing through Sun the first time and playing through Ultra Sun, they are right in the sense that there are minor differences of how the game is 
played out and how certain events sort of go, but it's not enough to sort of have enough for a person to say, dude, this is exactly the same as Sun is Moon. Dislike all. But <laughs> on the whole, everything has kind of been decent. I think the only one particular thing is how I've sort of taught myself to play Pokemon games now, where I'm further than Paul is, but definitely not anywhere close to beating the game. I'm just possibly nearing the midway point. Well, yeah. You kind of can tell your progress by, like, what island you're on. The fourth island supposedly the last one or something. Then there's other story plot that happens in the middle of everything, too. So, basically... I think the one other particular thing I'm wondering about is during the first games, it was going around the world and fighting these particular trainers to get badges to yes. go off and face the Pokemon League of all that sort of stuff. Yeah, progress is measured by the gym battles and gyms that you go to. What do you think of their change of style moving things to trials instead? Okay. So, in Pokemon Red, there was the eight badges, and then you fought the Pokemon League of Dickheads. Yeah. In this one, you have the trials. Hmm. I don't know. Now, granted, if I went back and actually played Pokemon Red, it would probably be a lot easier than I remember it being. Yeah. But the first trial especially is, like, ridiculously easy. Hmm. Like... They're not really meant to be terribly hard. But, like, it sh I shouldn't get through it with one-hit KOs. Hmm. <laughs> like... Come on. I honestly think that with facing up with the trials, on this island specifically, it will give you sort of an idea of how everything's going to go. If you're looking for a challenge, once you get to the next island and face up to that trial, I'll be interesting to see your experience. Oh, okay. We have to talk about Z-moves. Oh, yes. I only experienced, like, one of them, the breakneck bullets and some other ones. <laughs> the, base, the basic explanation of them. Yeah. Breakneck bullets. <laughs> he runs really fast at the guy. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny. Okay. I have issues with them. First off, you have to do a stupid little dance before they do the move. Yes. Not yes. a fan, because it looks dumb. And B, on Breakneck Blitz, which I will never tire of saying, <laughs> the animation is utter crap. Nah. As in, there is no animation, they just took a picture and went, make it go across the screen and put a little dirt under its feet so people can't tell it ain't moving. <laughs> I could do that shit in PowerPoint in about 30 <laughs> <PowerPoint>. seconds. <laughs> Am I wrong? No. Start no. here, end here. Dirt effect. I think it would be a bit of a question of how long would it take to take the near 850 or so creatures with the ability to do those sorts of things and make specific animations for them to have a running animation to attack a certain thing. Okay, but are all 850 in this game? Yes. Yes. Plus the additional ones that technically aren't released. Okay, you can't catch every single one with one game. But all the data is within the games to actually have them there. Yeah. That's dumb. It's Pokemon. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, okay, so I thought the whole point of going to a new region was so that they could make it more simplistic. In a certain sense, possibly... But, also in another sense, the basis of how this game was kind of made was to fill in a specific demographic that this game has created. Where lots of specific people that enjoy Pokemon are battlers. People that get the game, get all the particular stuff together, go out and go into competitions with other people with it. Where, as in other people or casual players, just... You enjoy playing the game for what it does. Or some people want to complete their Pokedex again for yeah. the so make, time. So make the Pokedex just what, like, so I don't remember what this region's called. Alola. Alola. Okay. So just be like, okay, dickheads, there's going to be uh, 200 in this region. That's all you get. Fuck yes. 
That's what they did with Sun and Moon. It was honestly one of the things that lots of people complained about, where you couldn't get a total number of Pokemon within the game. Yeah, but that's like me complaining that the new WWE game doesn't have every wrestler that's worked for WWE. Yeah, yeah but there's always the potential like, of like getting all, all their Pokemon and bringing them into the game as well. Yep, so true. From other games. Pokemon so, fans just need to kick in the fucking ass. It honestly wouldn't hurt. With most anything, I think it kind of falls under the main blanket statement of fandoms. Fandoms always have their particular problems and cause problems for the fandom that they're in. Yeah, but I don't see anybody on Reddit going like, why isn't Duke the Dumpster Drozzy in WWE 2K18? Although, if somebody wants to start that thread, tweet it at me. Because <laughs> I want more wrestling bin men. Uh-huh. Actually, no, no, wait, wait. I want the goon. That's the one I want. I want the goon. I want the hockey player wrestler. <laughs> so, I'll show you a picture later, Justin. You'll love it. Okay. So, on the whole, with everything that you've experienced with Pokemon so far... Are you somewhat content to try and continue on through to try and complete it, at least to the story's end? Or are you kind of a bit hesitant and you're gonna, you're per- basically thinking, this is going to be a motherfucking slog? Well, it's going to be a slog, but I'm going to finish it. Because okay. I've already started it. Nah. I mean, it's fine, but I ain't in a rush to complete it. Hmm. No, it's not one game to really rush too much either. I mean, you can, but it's your enjoyment is going to start going down from there as soon yeah, as it's done. More or less. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. And if you're a fan of Pokemon, you're probably an asshole, but whatever. That's, um... It's not a lie, but you... Re- <laughs> it's a bit of a blanket Are you agreeing statement. with him? It's a bit of a blanket statement, Paul, because everybody on this planet is an asshole in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, Even well. you. I actually... Adjustment to that. Especially you. Yeah, so? Exactly. <laughs> anyway, it's fine. It didn't make my head explode like I was worried it might. Because the minute I turned the game on, I was like, I maybe should get something to put my brain bits in when they come flying out. (laughs) Somebody get me a glass to get the blood that's going to come out of my nose. I was worried about my health. It didn't kill me. It's all right. That's my review. Well, that's your first impression. You're still on the first island. It's not really a review. You still have a little ways to go. You barely played any of WWE 2K18. I know. That you was didn't an, play the story. It was an impression. I gave an impression of it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, whatever. Someday maybe I'll make you play the story mode. Oh, God. It's good. It's a wrestling <laughs> story mode, so it's actually take that good. as you want. All right. So I think that's going to be about it. I'm Paul. I'm Dave. And Justin.